welcome to Least Coast Routing video tutorial. Least Coast Routing, or LCR for short, allows you to select the least expensive way to route the calls. Before you set LCR for tenant, under Trunks and Tenants menu, select the tenant from the list and click on Edit button. Under Allow Trunks, from a drop down menu, select each trunk that this tenant will be allowed to use. If you select one trunk by mistake, simply click the X to remove it. Next, select which one of the allowed trunks will be primary, secondary and tertiary. These settings will be applied to all extensions on the tenant for all destinations. Specify your primary, secondary and tertiary emergency trunk. And once done, click save to apply the settings. Default trunks can also be configured from tenant settings menu. Simply select the tenant from drop down list, navigate the settings menu, and under default trunks, select the primary, secondary, and tertiary trunk for the tenant. In case you have an incoming call, but there is no matching DID on your system, you can set the default destination to which the call will be forwarded. We have specified the trunks to be used for all destinations, but in order to use different trunk for different destinations, you will have to edit least cost routing. To set LCR, select your desired tenant from a drop-down menu and navigate to LCR section. Say for Alaska, Horizon is offering you better rates than the other providers. Therefore, under Alaska destination group, you would select Horizon as a primary trunk. However, for Hawaii destination group, B-Mobile is offering you the best rates. In this scenario, you would select B-Mobile as a primary trunk for all calls with Hawaii. In case that one of the primary trunks is not available, you can select secondary trunk. Say that Mint is offering you better rates than the other two providers. Based on the rates, you would select the Mint as a secondary trunk for both Alaska and Hawaii. If you leave default option for tertiary trunk, LCR will use tenant's default trunk settings for tertiary trunk. Following the same procedure, you can set the least expensive trunks for each destination group. Once done, click save to apply the settings. These settings will apply to all extensions on the tenant. However, you can set different routes for each extension. Simply navigate to the tenant's extension menu, select the extension from the list, and with the advanced settings enable, under trunk section, you can set the primary, secondary and tertiary trunk for the extension to use regardless of tenant's default trunk settings. These trunks will be used with destinations not specified in LCR. To set personal LCR, set override system LCR to yes. You can now specify primary, secondary and tertiary trunk for each destination group. Let's say that you would like to set LCR for Alaska and Hawaii. Simply click on the letter U and select USA from the destination group. Say that for this extension you wish to use Mint as a primary trunk for both Alaska and Hawaii. From a drop down menu, select Mint for each destination. And say for a secondary trunk, you would like this extension to use Horizon trunk. And for tertiary trunk, you would prefer the extension to use B Mobile trunk. From a drop down menu, select Horizon under Alaska and Hawaii as a secondary trunk and B Mobile as a tertiary trunk. Following the same procedure, you can set the trunks for each destination group. Once done, click save to apply the settings. In our case, extension 101 will use these routes for any calls made with Alaska and Hawaii destination group, regardless of the tenant LCR settings. Thank you for watching this video, and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom Systems Wikimedia page.